When I first saw No Me ME2024, I was like, <gasps> because I love these pants. I just think they look so cool. There are two different views. So view A has a gold day, which is a triangular piece of fabric that is sewn into the bottom of the leg to give it some volume. And view B is just sewn straight down. It doesn't have a gold day, so it's more of a straight leg, if you will. Since I had never sewn men's jeans, I decided to make a muslin just to get an idea of how the pants would fit on me. I added the gold aid to the left leg and then the right leg I sewed without the gold aid, which will be what view B would look like. And I just wanted to compare the two just to kind of get an idea of which view I wanted to make. As far as the fit, the pants were too big in the waist. I took the muslin off to make some adjustments to it and also to the sewing pattern itself. So to make the pants fit a little better, I put a little dart on this side and took the pants in there and then the same thing on this side, just made a small dart to take the pants in there. In the back, I did the same thing, but I had to take a much wider dart and just take it from this top all the way down. And this is how the pants are looking so far and they don't have the waistband on, so I'll have to see how everything looks once the waistband is attached. Okay, so I have attached the waistband and this is how it's looking so far. There's no gaping in the back, so I'm happy about that. And now I think I'm ready to go ahead and just sew the actual pants. So I do think the pants are coming up a little high on me. So what I plan to do is reduce the waistband pieces. So you have your left and right waistband pieces and I am going to reduce them by an inch. So I'm gonna end up cutting this down so that the waistband won't be as wide and it won't come up as high. And then I also want to reduce the front pants leg and also the back pants leg. So I'm just gonna fold this down maybe a half an inch just to bring the rise down just a little bit. So I'll fold this down and I'll do the same thing on this piece. So I drew two lines. They are a half inch apart. This is on the back. I already did the same thing on the front. Now I'm just going to fold on the line. And then once I get this all creased, then I will bring it to the other line and tape it down and I already did that on the front so it ends up looking like this all of the denim pieces cut out and I did pick up my fabric from Hobby Lobby. I decided to use two different shades of denim because I just kind of wanted to mix it up. I thought it would be a little interesting if some of the pieces were light, like the long patch on the front, I want that to be lighter. And then maybe the pockets and some of the other smaller pieces I cut out in the lighter denim. So I just want to mix and match and see how that's going to look. And this is the denim that I have left over which I love having leftover denim especially because I love love denim and I also pulled out my other sewing machine this is my backup machine and I'll be using this to do a lot of the top stitching the last time I used this machine for top stitching it was bunching up under the bottom of the needle and I'm not sure why so I hope I don't have that problem so this time I made sure to purchase some denim needles. So I'm going to change my needle and put a denim one in there. I'm not sure if I have a denim one in there already. I don't think so, but even if I do, it needs to be changed. So I'm going to put a fresh needle in. And then what else? 
Oh, I cut out a size 34, which is the smallest size, and I decided to cut out view B, which is the view that doesn't have the gold day. I also decided to add an inch to the length of the pants. So I folded in all the edges along the front patch, and I'm just kind of pinning them down so that they can stay pressed in as much as possible and then I will pin it to the actual pants leg and I already did one leg and I'm working on this one here so I did some top stitching here in the middle of the leg that I just added just because I thought I would like it just to kind of break up the length of this a little bit for me so I'll show you how that looks close up a little bit later just want to make sure I get all these tucked in pretty well so nothing is sticking out then I'm going to pin this to the leg I'm trying to make sure it's all even okay maybe I'll pin it to the leg first okay so I'm gonna pin this and then once this side over here is all pinned to the actual pants leg then you baste this side together so this is still not attached to the front I just pinned in the edges so now I'm going to actually pin this to the leg and making sure that the edges are still flat and tucked in so now I'm just going to stick some pins into the pants leg just want to hold this down so it won't move and then after it gets pinned down then I'm going to go around and do some top stitching I have finished all the top stitching on one leg and now I'm just going to remove some of the pins and I decided to leave this open up here to create kind of like a pocket so with the top stitching that I did down here that will allow me to be able to reach in here and if I want to drop something in there I can and it won't come out so I thought that would be kind of cute okay so I'm really happy with how everything is looking so far I have the patches attached to the front and I did add some extra top stitching along the sides here now I'm working on the pocket so this is the lining piece and I have the smaller pocket here and so now I'm just gonna baste these edges here and then stitch this down so that it will be attached to the lining so I'm holding it up to kind of get an idea of how it's gonna look and I love the little front pockets and I actually have some pockets from a pair of jeans that I cut off and I'm thinking about attaching these to the back. This was from a pair of Levi's I think and I'm thinking about just attaching these to the back. I was trying to see like how the color would look and it's not a match but it still might be kind of cute so yeah. Here we are in the mirror. All right, so now I'm about to attach, oh, I'm looking for the zipper, here it is. I'm about to attach the zipper to the front and I'm just gonna follow the directions in the pattern. I did that for the muslin and it turned out just fine and the directions were pretty easy in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go with that. So it starts out by having you stitch from the dot over to the notch and that's what I'm about to go ahead and do right now. I have the zipper in and those back pockets that I shared with you, I did decide to go ahead and put them on the back of the pants and they happen to be men's Levi jean pockets so that's perfect for this project. I actually had cut out the back pockets but I just decided not to use them since I had these. And now what I'm about to do is, is just attach the front leg to the back leg. I already started pinning it together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning 
these legs together and then next we'll be sewing down the crotch seam. These pants have a little loop right here that you can sew and attach to the back leg. I'm not gonna put this little loop here, but I am planning to put on this little back pocket. I've placed the pocket on the back leg and I'm actually going to just sew this on before closing up any of the side seams. It looks like they want you to close up the side seams and then put the pocket on, but I'm just gonna do mine the opposite way. Once I finish sewing one of the legs onto the front, I realized, okay, I need to put that pocket on before I can go ahead and sew that one on to the other front leg. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. I'm about to sew the crotch seam and I'm just going to compare it to the muslin. So this is the back seam on the muslin, which is this area right here. So I'm going to pretty much just see how much I went over here and how far I went down and I'm going to duplicate that. So when I'm sewing this seam here, I'm gonna start from an angle like this and go down and I want this angle to be pretty much the same as this angle here. And I'm just gonna go down and I'll probably baste it, go down, do a regular stitch up to this point here where the zipper begins over, where is it, over here somewhere. And then I'll try it on and then I'll do the same thing when I'm sewing the sides together. I'll just come in a little bit at an angle just to make everything fit better. I've taken the back and I'm going to place it on top of this back here and the seams are going to match. I'm gonna lay that there, make sure the corners and everything match. And this will show me how far over I need to sew and on down from there. So that's how I'm gonna take in the actual pants the same way that I took in the muslin. I think my line is a little crooked here, but I think it's gonna be okay. So I put some tracing paper under the muslin and then I traced a red line from the top all the way down following the line that was on the muslin. And then when I got here, I just brought it right into the 5 eighths of an inch seam. I ended up not basting it because I felt like, well, since the muslin fit okay, then I'll just take my chances. And this is what it's looking like on the outside. I still need to press everything, but I think it's gonna be okay. So now I will go ahead and put the front and the back together and sew the side seams and take in the side seams. Now those I will probably baste so that I can try everything on. I thought about it and I decided that since I took in the back, maybe I would just put the sides together and see how everything fits before I take in anything on the sides. So I just did a basting stitch on each side. I didn't go all the way down. I just went far enough so that I can put the pants on just to see how it fits here in this area. And it turns out that it fits fine so I don't actually need to take in any more on the sides. So what I'm doing right now is removing those basting stitches that I put in initially and that way I can go back to this back section here and I'm going to trim this off now that I know everything fits okay. And then I'm also going to add some um, top stitching through the back from this back all the way up through, I think it goes up to a part of the front. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these off. And I suppose that the pants fit better than the muslin because the fabric is much thicker. So I searched the back seam that was wide and extended out to the right. I just cut that off and then searched it and then I did the top stitching on the outside and the back and that's how that's looking. So next I will be working on the waistband. I'm just about finished. I have the waistband attached and I am going to use this for my button. I decided not to put rivets around the pocket area and around the patch. I'm just gonna leave that blank or without rivets. And I also decided not to put carriers on. The only other thing after putting the button on is hemming the pants. I was looking through my closet for a top to wear with these jeans and I found this top that I made years ago and I didn't use a pattern. It's just a scrap of 
denim fabric and then I put another piece of scrap of denim fabric down the middle of this piece here and then I just added some elastic up here at the top and created like a tube top and it just so happens to match nicely with the jeans so I am going to put this on with the jeans and then show you how it looks. 